That is a beautiful machine. Hey there, friends. We're on the grounds here at the Rock Cobbler. Let's see if he's in here. Hey, man, we're just uh, hanging out front here. Ah, I was right. <laughs> it's Pete Stetna. You got time for a quick tour of this beautiful oh. new machine that you've been rolling around in, my man? Yeah, come on in. So this is where actually probably most of the time is spent. Um, it's like a spaceship in here. There's all, it's all, it's 2021 Mercedes body. So there's all sorts of fancy touchscreen things and, and weird sensors. And uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. Coming from, you know, when, when my truck, I was putting a tape deck in to listen to my, my iPod. These kind of go with me for everywhere they were in the previous van. There's some personal meanings to those. What are some of the other main creature comforts you've got here? So, uh, I'll start from here. This is kind of the master screen, right? And do do everything's on the master dimmer. So you have your awning lights, your cabin lights, cargo lights in the garage, reading lights over your bed. They all come with dimmers to get more comfy. You'll feel this here in the cabin light. There we go. Um, you got climate control, hot, cold, air conditioning, running water, hot water. This is a lounge right now, but this is also your extra seat for your friends or it can lay down flat all the way for a bed and I actually tested it with Mr. Big Tall Wayne and there's seven feet if you flip around that captain seat so I'm gonna have Big Tall Wayne crash in here on some tough nights on the road there's also a toilet sitting in there so you don't have to fight for the um the pre-race porta potty line if if that's an issue for you post-race shower Last year I had a camp shower in my old van. I was showering on the back with like a simple curtain between the doors. A big gust of wind came right as uh, Mr. John of Orange Sealed came by. So uh, he got the full show. That kind of led to a sponsorship. So I guess it's not always the worst thing. <laughs> How does uh, Mrs. Stetnut feel about the, the, new, the new rig here? She is very happy to be able to go to the bathroom and shower uh, inside the van. This is, this is a big upgrade for the, the wife and the life and the dogs, honestly. Like the dogs, they're soft. Like they, they like sitting in this chair more than, than a dog bed on the floor. So I think they're getting a little spoiled, but uh, the dogs love the Groove Lounge. Wayne loves the Groove Lounge. Uh, there is a solar panel. However, it just kind of trickle charges it to keep things uh, a little topped off. That was big tall Wayne, actually. <laughs> Food, microwave hot plate for all the cooking you're gonna do. The bed, memory foam. Um, what do the rappers always say? This is where the magic happens. You see the van a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Uh, but no, this is actually uh, six foot three of length with those bump outs. So uh, I can sleep this way, which is really crucial when you got a van because sleeping this way, you lose a lot of living space. So sleeping this way is really beneficial. It opens up a lot more to, to live out of it and be comfortable. I came to him and said, I need to get three bikes and all my gravel gear for races such as Unbound or the Belgian Waffle Ride in here. This is what they came up with. This custom bike tray that is purpose built to hold three bikes, road, mountain, and gravel. They all fit tight and compact. One benefit of something like a Storyteller is this is the highest prefabricated van bed. A lot of them are 34 inches, which unless you have a dropper post, you ain't getting in there with your bike. So now this thing, nice and easy, slides out. You can lift your bike off. I have enough parts in here and here to fix any tire, uh, replace an entire bike, derailleurs, batteries, rotors, some wheels on the side, helmet holder, and this thing, is my outdoor shower, AKA the bike wash. So I have a hose there. I'll just plug it in, spray the bike down before it goes back to bed. You don't wanna just get a van and then have to change everything. This one had everything ready to go to go to your adventure. And just with a simple bike tray addition for more toys, yeah. it made all the difference. Well, thanks for showing us this rad van, man. Just I am kinda... about to miss packet pickup due to hosting y'all. So it's time to get out of here. I'm gonna close up. I'll see you around. All right. Thanks, man.